Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, I am doing a collab video today. I'm so excited about this video. I haven't done like a collab that's not a tag video in ages. Um, and I'm doing this collab with the lovely Dawn and Brittany. And I will post their channels down below. Um, I'm sure when you check them out, you'll know who they are. Um, really, really wonderful YouTubers and wonderful girls. Like, I love these girls. Love them, love them, love them. Can't, can't say enough. So go to their links down below. Click on their links. Watch their videos. Give them a thumbs up. Subscribe. Because I told you to. Uh, no, you, they're really, really, really good. You'll really love them. Um, so we're doing this collab on products that claim to deliver, but don't. So this was kind of a, hmm, how do I say it? This was kind of an amusing video for me to kind of go through my drawers and just go, ick, 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 ick. Um... There's a couple of products that I don't have in my hands, but I will mention that in the video. Um, the first product, and this is a doozy, um, I just picked up is the Benefit Roller Lash. Um, let's see what it says on here. It says, hook and roll brush, patent pending. Great. Um, Dream Curl. Curl power grabs, separates, lifts, and curls every lash while the instant curve setting formula holds for 12 hours. Instant curve setting formula. So basically, you're not supposed to need a um, lash curler with this product. Let me tell you, bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Can't stand this. It's going back. Hate it. I, I got actually got a sample one, so I'm happy about that because this one hasn't even been opened. I can't stand it. These are the claims. 97% said it lift it visibly lifted lashes. I didn't see it. Um 87% says it gives long-lasting curl. Anything that I mean with a curling an eyelash curler? Sure, why not? Uh, anything that's water resistant as far as mascaras go is going to give you a lasting curl because it's water resistant. 94% um, it made eyes look more wide open. Bye bye your curler. Can you see that? Yeah, not so much. Now I have naturally, not naturally curly lashes, but they don't stick straight out. <sighs> I still had to use this bad boy. Had to use it. I just, the claims are so ridiculous on this thing. I couldn't stand it. Super curling and lifting mascara. No, 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 no. Um, and disclaimer on this video, guys, if I'm showing you stuff that you absolutely love, I apologize. I just feel it doesn't do what it claims. And mascara is one of the big things. It's just my opinion. Please don't kill me. Um... Mascara is one of the big things that they can make all these claims that they want on their packaging and it does none of it has to be true. It's it's just all marketing. And mascara is the biggest one. Um this is and it says if, if you look at the things, there's little asterisks next to each one. And just a hair closer. There's asterisks next to each one and <laughs> What makes me laugh about it is in the back, it says consumer panel survey on 31 women after four weeks. Well, I mean, if it's instant, more wide open look, like why instant, it's calling super curling and lasting visibly. I mean, what, what do you need four weeks to figure out if this curls your lashes? I don't know. I'm ranting about this product, but I think it's crap. And it's going back. So, um, okay, another line, it's kind of a line of products that I just, maybe I don't get them, but they're marketed for something and I just think they're crap. I just don't, I, 
I think you could achieve the purpose with something else. Um, let me check in my drawer of goodies here and see if I happen to have the other product. No, I think I actually bought the other product back. Okay, so this is Napoleon Paradise, and Napoleon is a really, really good line. They sold it at Ulta, I think... They got bought out by somebody, but his main thing was his primer. Um, it was like, you know, supposedly a while back, like a holy grail, all this kind of stuff. Okay, so everything is primer, primer, primer. I actually purchased, they were having like an 85% off sale, some ridiculous sale at Ulta. So on his products, since they were selling them off, and I purchased a, this is the Autopilot um, Conceal primer it's a primer for your concealer okay um so it says up your image with this innovative eye primer apply before concealer the light reflective formula helps to brighten and soften the skin and mask any darkness under the eyes your concealer will have a more flattering long-lasting finish seaweed delivers firming and filling properties while boosting anti-aging antioxidant protection um put a small amount on your finger or a concealer brush tap and blend product from the inner corner of the under eye to the outer corner before you apply your concealer does this not sound like moisturizer to you it sounds like under eye cream to me um so and this is not a cheap brand this is a highly 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 expensive brand so I don't know how much I got this for on sale. It was next to nothing on sale, but 85% off. But, um, yeah. So I used it today under my eyes. Do you guys, like, notice anything brighter or amazingness? More flattering? I really don't. You know what I notice is more flattering is that I use less products underneath my eyes so they don't crease as much. Um... And my concealer that I like is my NYX HD concealer underneath my eyes to brighten. So I don't think it has anything to do with this product. Um, I don't know. Um, do you see light reflecting underneath? I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't know. It just sounds too good to be true. Sometimes, like, I just, like I said, okay, what is this? This is an under eye moisturizer. That's what it is. But they market it as something, a concealer primer, and, like, then they can charge these ridiculous prices for it. Anyway, that's a dud. Okay. The next thing that I think does not live up to the hype, I'm going to call it does not live up to the hype, but products that don't deliver. Um, this is the Glam Glow Mud Mask. Um, well, not Mud Mask. The Super Cleanse Daily Treatment Cleanser. Mud to Foam Cleanser. Glam Glow is a huge line. Everybody who's anybody has heard of it, has probably used it, has raved about, about it. Um, I got this in gratis um, at Sephora. And... Um, I don't love it. They have one in a blue bottle that maybe I would like. I don't love it. In fact, I hate it. I shouldn't say I don't love it. Um, I like the concept. It's a mud. You put it on your face. It looks just like the regular Glam Glow. It's all black and stiff. Um, and then you add water and you foam it in and all that kind of stuff. So it's supposed to be, um, it says rinsing away, dissolve oil and makeup, I didn't find it worked really well, honestly. After I used after this, I used cleansing water. There was still a lot of makeup left over, so I didn't find it worked. Rinsing away pore, clogging debris, impurities, and excess sebum oils, and create a mattifying, super clear complexion. If they mean by if what they mean by mattifying is you feel like your face is going to crack, then yes, it lives up to its claims. But other than that. No. I mean, I used this stuff and I literally could not not put a moisturizer on it. Like I like on right after. I wanted to leave it to see if it like if oils popped up into my skin, you know, cuz they could say it's mattifying. Let's see how long my skin stays mattified for. Um without any makeup or anything like that to just see I couldn't do it. I could not do it. My skin literally felt like if I smiled or anything, 
I, it was going to crack. I had to put moisturizer on. So I just think this is, and it's really expensive. It's quite, quite expensive. And yeah. So, I mean, if you have a super, maybe, I don't know, maybe if you, if you have super, super oil slick, oily skin, maybe, but I just, I don't know. I'm highly, highly, highly disappointed in this because I was really hoping for more because Glam Glow is so hyped up that I was really hoping. Um, and it really did not do such a great job at removing my makeup either. So uh, I don't know. It did, didn't do that. It didn't, um, it just dried my skin out basically. Okay. The next thing I know some people love this and I know I'm probably going to get hate about this is the Instant Pore Eraser by Baby Skin. Yes. By Maybelline. Um, I think this is, like, I don't know why I even still have this, to be honest with you. Um, this doesn't erase any of my pores. People compare this to the Professionals by Benefit. Hell no. Um, no. No, 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 no. I, I felt this was just, oops, it's just silicone and it doesn't even come out really like the professionals. It's just silicone-y and it did not erase any pores whatsoever. I hated it, honestly. I can't stand it. I don't know why I even still have it. I guess just as a backup in emergency circumstances. But um, smooth onto areas with visible pores. Maybe I have huge pores and nothing is good, but spackle. I'm gonna have to buy, buy some of that. What's that spackle that like is pink when you put it on the wall and then it changes white? Like maybe I'm gonna have to buy that for my pores. I don't know. But no, this just did not do it for me. Um, I love the Smashbox um, pour. I love the NYX pore filler. Um, the Smashbox pore filling one, the purple one, love that too. This just, you know, and it's sad too because I'm still looking for a... I've tried the visible blur, everything like that, and I'm still looking for a drugstore primer because, you know, because primers are expensive. They really are. But I have yet to find one that really does anything. Um, okay, the next is a makeup remover that I actually received for review, um, and this is Vite Leave No Trace um, eye makeup remover, all natural, oil-free, non-irritating. Well, as soon as I saw oil-free, I got a little nervous because I like the fact that it was non-irritating because there's nothing worse than putting eye makeup remover on your eyes and they sting and they burn and, like, it's horrible. Um, I have my Holy Grail, which is my Makeup Forever um, sensitive eyes. <sighs> that shit will take anything off. Um... <laughs> seriously like it really would it's crazy I think you could like clean your car battery with it you know I don't know it's just crazy um but this is a gentle oil-free all-natural non-irritating clean rinsing lotion which it's really not a lotion it's a liquid um dissolves all traces of eye makeup strengthens your lashes and soothes and conditions your delicate eye area um yeah, so I was pulling more lashes out with this than anything. Um, it does not say waterproof. I mean, in its defense, it does not say waterproof makeup remover, but I just found this to be um, useless, really. Would I use this maybe as a, because it's got good ingredients. It's got aloe vera leaf juice powder, um, orange peel extract, green tea leaf powder, chamomile, um cucumber extract so maybe i'll use this like as a cleansing water afterwards you know after i you know do my makeup removal stuff maybe i'll do that because this just no for eyes no um but i do wear a lot of waterproof heavy duty makeup eye makeup so i don't know but it doesn't do what it claims um, the next thing, and I, I know people love this stuff, and to me, this is water in a bottle. Um, this is the e.l.f. Mist and Set. Yeah. Um, this does nothing for me. I, it has aloe, green tea, cucumber, vitamins A, C, and E. Um, if, 
I want a makeup setting spray, it needs to set my makeup all day like hairspray. Seriously. So, yeah, this does not do it. It doesn't. This is like spraying water on my face. Like, it, this would be nice in the summer, um, you know, to just refresh your face or whatever. But as far as setting, no, absolutely not. It, like I said, water in a bottle with aloe, green tea, cucumber, and all these vitamins. It, I mean, really, it just, no. I, I don't know. I don't like it. Um, the next thing that I was so excited to get, I got this like in a boxy charm or something ages ago and I have used it once and then I have not touched it, is the Tarina Tarantino and the packaging always gets me. Her packaging is just amazing and this is the Pearl Glow Primer Base. Love this. I mean, loved the concept. I was so super duper excited because I was looking for a nice, luxurious, um underneath my makeup to make my makeup look really dewy and honestly this stuff was horrible um you can see it leaves a little dew um but then the more you rub it let me see if it's gonna do it you know what it could be it could be something not compatible with like the moist note here we go okay see the more you rub it look at that's disgusting and that's what was all over my face so gross so gross so this is just something that i will never use again it was horrible i was so sad because this also is an expensive brand and yeah so i mean who wants these little ugh, like little snot buds all over your face when you put your primer on like ugh. okay a couple more products really quickly um okay so the tattoo colored eyeshadows um tattooed by maybelline um i oh i wanted to love this stuff so bad i have like every single color number one they dry out so fast so super duper fast um and because they're called color tattoo i really expected them not to crease these things creased so bad on me. I know, I think what I'm going to use them for is like eyeshadow bases underneath stuff, but I honestly haven't picked them up um, since I used, I tried, tried them twice, both times creased so bad, it was insane. Um, and... Oh, I just got this all over myself. I mean, they're gorgeous colors, and they're so... Uh, they're just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I just got them underneath my fingernail, so now I'm going to have blue all over the place. But they, you know, for something, like I said, 24-hour, I expected them to not crease, and they just creased so, so bad on me. So, I mean, does it say it doesn't crease? I don't know. In the commercials, does it say it doesn't crease? I don't know, but it creases. Um, the, that brings me to another, um, I don't have one on hand because I think they're all the same, concealers that claim to not crease. Not to settle into fine lines, don't, doesn't crease. It's all bullshit. All of it. I don't care. You post one down below. If you guys are my subscribers, any of my subscribers that are like 35 and above, okay and have fine lines underneath their eyes post down below and tell me one concealer that you have found that does not crease because it just it they do i'm sorry they do if you have lines it's going to settle in there so concealers calling themselves creaseless is bullshit it's bullshit marketing and i can't stand it it drives me nuts i mean i love these girls on youtube that are you know 20, 21, 22, 23, even 25, gorgeous skin, gorgeous, you know, whatever, under eyes, maybe they have a little discoloration, okay, and they put it on, they're like, oh, and it absolutely does increase, you don't have a wrinkle underneath your eye, like, how would you know, of course it does increase, there's nothing for it to crease into, okay, sorry, I'm screaming, I'm on a rant, I just, you know, hello, you get to be my age, you got all these little lines and fine lines and all this other stuff. You put product on, product's gonna go in there. 
it just makes sense. So stop calling stuff creaseless when it's not. And I, and, and oh my God, like young, and please don't hate me, please, because you girls are all so beautiful, but you, you young beauty tubers, YouTubers who are like, oh, and it's creaseless, you wouldn't know, your skin is gorgeous. Who was I watching the other day? I can't remember, I was watching somebody the other day and her skin, oh God, what's her name? Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. Anyway, her skin was so gorgeous. And even without makeup, without foundation, I was like, oh, my God. Like, when she started to put foundation, I'm like, no, don't. Like, it was so gorgeous. I mean, if it's people like that, it's like, don't go on YouTube and claim that it's creaseless. You don't know. You have no lines. Okay. The next thing is the Sephora. And uh, I'm so, I love Sephora brand stuff, you guys. But the Citrus Brush Cleaner. It's being compared to Makeup Forever, um, not Makeup Forever, the, um, by, it's by Parian Spirit, made for Sephora. Well, they chinched somewhere because this is not the same thing as the Parian Spirit. It's not even close to Makeup Forever, it makes an amazing one. It will take everything off your brush quickly for quick changes. This does not. It just doesn't, it doesn't do what it claims. Um... It, it yeah quickly cleans and conditions brushes it leaves them oily it's uh, no it just no it's not it's not good at all um and the last oh god this was so disappointing but I'm not going to do this one because it just wasn't my color so that doesn't really count the last thing this doesn't really have a claim I'm just upset about this one so I'm going to tell you about it um this is the Kat Von D autograph um liquid eyeliner and I look at this packaging you guys like oh hello I love you um this is like a shimmery black kind of color but look at this you guys I'm so upset I don't know if I got a dud I got this in Arizona can you see it? It's all clumpy. Can you see that? <gasps> I tried to put this on my eyes and it was horrible. And I was so upset because I think I got a bad one. Does anybody know how to fix this stuff? Like, can I thin this out? If anybody knows, put it, put a post down below. I don't know if it's the glitters in this or what, but I was so disappointed in this. Um, But that's it, guys. The, that's my products that claim to do what they say and they're crap my two biggest would have to be this roller lash right here no not um the elf mist and set no doesn't do it the baby skin and any concealer it says it doesn't crease caca not the truth lying whatever so anyway guys Thank you so much, and thank you to Dawn and Britt for letting me do this collab with them. Oh my god. Britt, I think I already watched her, so it's like nine minutes. Mine's like gonna be 20 minutes. I just get on a rant when I, like, there's something I'm so passionate about, and this was like one of those things, because you guys all have makeup. I want you to post down below, please, post down below what products you use that make these claims, and you think it's horrendous. Like, it, no, doesn't do it, because... Oh my god, we know I have drawers and drawers and drawers and drawers and, and everything filled with these. Check out Dawn's video, check out Britt's video, I'm going to post the links below, subscribe to them, give them a thumbs up, tell them I sent you, and I love you guys. Take care.